What is up, Stizzle Stazzle? So this is Stephanie, or as you know me as Stizzy G on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, today we are going to do some Rick and Morty extensions. Well, before I get started, I am going to mention the wonderful, amazing mermaid hair official extensions. These ones in particular are 22 inch blondes. They're platinum. And as you know, it is much easier to draw on white paper and get things to show up than it is colored paper. So I prefer a blank canvas. And not to mention, this is October, which is cancer awareness, breast cancer awareness, and autism awareness. So just to show you guys, here are the 22 inch pink eye tip extensions. These ones are for the breast cancer awareness for the month of October. Um, as you can see, it is great, cute, adorable packaging. Totally appropriate for it being called Mermaid Official. This is adorable little fish scale packaging. Adorable. Protective sleeve to keep everything together. And easy to open. The great thing about these extensions is, is the installment. When it comes to the installment, if you can't tell, this is a fourth of an inch width with a sixteenth of an inch seam. For even such having a small seam, the density is pretty high, which means that you'll have a better resolution or a better picture, as I mentioned on my previous video, which is kind of important when you're dealing more detailed work. Mermaid Hair Official also has great, fast, affordable shipping with great customer service. Look them up on the website, and you can see them on the Instagram link below. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to be using a little bit of Noir. We're going to be using some powder. Just dug out some Area 51. A little bit of lava for a Morty shirt. Some clear. Always gotta have that clear. And then a little bit of lemon, cause you never know. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need lemon for this little swirl dealy, so. And squeeze these into my little dealer over here. Don't get happy with it, because that is product waste, okay? Trust me, you don't want to be a product waster. A little bit of Noir up in there. A lava, for show. And then powder, because we're cool. And what's this last one? Oh, yeah. Area 51, of course. Just dabble. Give it a little razzle-dazzle. Bam. Like my dad would say. Everybody used to call him Emerald because he was the best and the bomb at cooking. Okay. Let's do this. I'm in the salon at like 11 o'clock at night, which is kind of terrifying. Yeah, supposedly this place is haunted and we're on the spook walk, so... Anyway, I have laid down my tape and I've already screwed it up, as you can tell. Look at that. Girl, you are a mess. I got little eraser shavings up in there. Get out of there. All right, I think I'm cool. So what I've done so far is I've taken my lava and I've lemon, I've mixed it with a little bit of Firefly to make Morty's shirt. I've taken a little bit of powder and I've taken a little bit of Nirvana to make Rick's hair and his shirt. And take the lava around the edges for his shirt, blend it in with lemon and firefly. Take the noir and the nirvana and blend it in with the powder or for his pants. He's got white shoes, so just don't color those colors in clear. So what I've done is I have mixed lava with a little bit of firefly, lemon, cupid, and a bunch of clear to make the flesh tones. So half cupid, half lava probably a dot of firefly and a giant glob of cupid and just mix it in and wipe it on your um napkin until it looks right okay i've already gone over these with clear so i ain't got to worry about messing it up
I made brown with a little bit of fireball, everything on my palette. So I made mostly the lava, the fireball, a little bit of Cupid, Area 51, Nirvana, Noir, and the lemon to make brown. We're also going to use the same brown that we used for Morty's hair for Rick's pants. What you end up getting with all those colors is a nice chocolate brown for a little bit of lemon for the belt buckle. I'm going to outline Morty's hair. And then after you've done outlining it, bring everything a little bit towards the middle. I'm also going to outline Morty's shirt and his pants with the noir. I'm also going to use Noir to outline Rick's jacket. I'm not gonna lie, this is like two days later. Um, this is what we've got so far. Let me bring it in for you. We've got Rick and Morty. A little bit of a darker evergreen color or a pine color. We mix a little bit of powder, uh, Area 51, and some lemon and firefly just to kick it off a little. Take our lemon and our area 51 and we're going to take all the empty space out where our little warp is going to be. Leave a little bit of space to right here where all the little details are. And it's okay if everything doesn't like coordinate exactly because it is a little warp. So if you got a little bit of lemon here, a little bit of extra firefly there, it's fine because we're gonna be able to cover it up. Just a little Bob Ross in here, okay? We're just gonna drop a little bit of happy green. In this case, we're gonna drop a little happy area 51. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Everybody makes mistakes. Just smother it on, okay? You ain't gotta be gentle with it. I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to look baller. I'm gonna cut in here real quick. Um, we're going to dip into our darker color, which is the forest evergreen color. This one right here. That's the one we used to make with the powder. And we're just going to start some little swirls, some little zigzag swirls. Like I said, this ain't got to be perfect. As Bob Ross would say, nothing is perfect. As long as you initially have like a little swirl going on, you're good. Oh, hold on. This is what we got so far. All right, so we are just finishing up all these little swirls. Unfortunately, this part takes the longest. It's like a lot of little swirls. Oh my God, how easy was that? Okay, cool, this is what we got. Dope! Now let's go ahead and fill it in. So to make our lives a lot easier, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a lot of clear and we're going to smother it all over where we're going to put our letters. So just slather the clear on. Make sure your 
brush is clean. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but I actually just went over Morty's leg and part of this warp. And the cool thing is, because I laid down a clear before I did all that, I can still continue to touch on it and it's not going to move or budge. Because it's got that protective layer on it. Alright, cool. Now we're going to start working on our letters. So we are just taking our new R and we are going over our letters with our fine brush. The finished product. The first part to the Rick and Morty video, due to technical issues, I couldn't finish the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. Or hopefully, uh, I will have a model for these ones. I'm sure I will. See you soon. Peace out.